Hello, it's uh, Harry here. So in this uh, short video, I would like to show how to use uh, Flex dashboard to combine two R Shiny apps. Okay, so first uh, let's look at these two uh, simple Shiny apps. Uh, the first one is called uh, Pi.R. So this one can read some sets data set, find all the character variables, and then create a pie chart for the character variables. So let's run the app. OK, so we need to input a, a set data set. So let's uh, find the data set here. OK, let's use a class. OK, select a variable. Uh, so sex is a character variable. So let's choose this one and then click on pie chart Okay, so you get a pie chart you get a table showing the count and the percentage of each category in this uh, character variable Okay, so it's a very simple app Okay, uh, the second app is uh, box plot so this uh, app can read the sets data set find the numeric variables and uh, do a box plot. So let's run this app. Okay, so we need to upload a sets data set. So let's use the class again and click on this box plot. Okay, so uh, we are asked to select the character variable and the numerical variable. So if we select a numerical numeric variable here, uh, we get the uh, box plot. But if you want to do the box plot uh, for different categories of a character variable, you can select a variable here. Uh, let's choose sex. So you get uh, two box plots for each sex. Okay, so this is also a simple app. So uh, a natural question is, uh, can you combine these two uh, shiny apps? So if you want to combine the UI part together, combine the server part together, so that's a lot of work. There is actually a simple way to combine these uh, two apps, and that is to use the flex dashboard so i want to show how to do that so let's go to file uh, go to uh, a new file and then choose our markdown and choose from template you can see there is a flex dashboard here so let's click on ok okay so there is this file open and we want to save this file first so let's uh, save as Okay, um, let's see. Let's call it uh, flex1.rmd uh, because this is a, a R markdown file. Okay, click on save. All right, so now let's uh, click on Nate. Okay, so you can see what this uh, script is doing. It divides this page into three parts called uh, chart A, chart B, and chart C. Uh, so we're going to use uh, uh, this uh, program with some modification. OK, so first uh, we want to change the title. Let's call it uh, two, uh, two apps. OK, because we're trying to combine two shiny apps. OK, here we need to add uh, one line. Uh, runtime uh, shiny. Okay, um, right here. I want to add a, a name for the for the page because I'm going to put these two uh, shiny apps in two different pages. So let's call the first one pie chart. And uh, I want to change the width to be 1,000 because in the in the first page there is only going to be this one app. Okay, and we go here. I want to add the name for the second page, so let's call it uh, um, 
box plot. Okay, uh, change the width to 1000 here as well. All right, uh, we don't need this chart C, so we can delete it. Okay, also we don't need this chart A here. We don't need this chart B. Okay, so let's save this file and let's run it. Okay, so you can see we have the, the name of the app here and we have two pages, so it's very good. Now, all we need to do is just to do some copy and paste. Okay, so let's go to this pi.r and let's copy these uh, options here, options and the library. Let's copy and go back to the flex one and let's put, uh, put it here. Okay, so now let's go to the code chunk for this uh, pie chart. So we're going to copy the UI and the server part here. Uh, we need to add the word uh, shiny app. Okay, so let's put it here. Let's go to the pie.r and we copy the UI and the server. Okay. So we don't need this uh, last line, this uh, shiny app line here. Okay, copy this, go back to flex one and put it right here. Okay, so we need to do uh, some modification. We need a, a, a comma after the UI and we need a, a comma after the server and we need to add some options. We want to set the height to be 1000 and we want to set the width to be 100%. Okay, so let's uh, uh, save and run it. Okay, so you can see we have the first app right here. So very good. Okay, close this. Uh, now we do the same thing for the for the box plot. So let's go to the box plot program. Let's copy the option here. Copy. We go to the flex one and put this in the R setup part. Okay, so here we can uh, delete some uh, repetitive lines. So here we have this option that allows the maximum size to be 75 uh, megabytes. So we don't need this one. This one is for 30 megabytes. Okay, so we delete this. So we already have a ggplot2 here. We can delete this one. We have the shiny here, so we can delete this line. We have shiny dashboard here, so let's delete this one. And same with the uh, library haven. Okay, so let's uh, save the file. Now we can copy the UI and the server for the box plot. So let's go here and copy the UI and the server. Copy. Okay, we go back to flex one and um, we go to this code chunk here. So as we did in the previous uh, code chunk, we have to add the word uh, shiny app. Okay, just uh, paste uh, here and we do some small modification. We have. A, we need to have a, a comma after the UI. We need to have a comma after the server, and we need to add the options.
Okay, uh, let's save the program and let's run it. Okay, so we have the pie chart here, we have the box plot here. So let's make sure it works. Uh, let's click on browse, home, choose this data set. Okay, select the variable. Okay, so we get the output. If we go to the box plot, uh, we upload the data set. Okay, so this one works too. All right, so you can see um, we don't need to do any programming. We just uh, use the Flex dashboard. Uh, we can easily combine these two Shining apps into one app. Okay, uh, I think that's all I want to uh, talk about in this uh, uh, video. If you think this is helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you.